Ashes of Creation made waves with its mage reveal last week. Some people loved it, a few people hated it, but overall it gave us a pretty good look in the direction they are heading with the spells and abilities for the class towards Alpha 2 testing. But it also left a few questions to be answered, and even more so when they dropped this community discussion post. If you head over to the Ashes of Creation forums, you will see this post asking two questions. The first being, would you prefer to have some spells that can be cast back to back without a cooldown, or would you want all of your abilities on a cooldown rotation? And the second question is, is is mana management important to you? Should mana be a contributing factor to a mage's total output over long encounters, or do you think the mage should be required to stop and rest, or should a skilled mage have the means of sustaining themselves indefinitely? Now let's start with that mana question. I get Intrepid is digging for feedback on certain topics and wants people's opinions, which is great, but why is mana management something we are even questioning here? There is zero point in having a mana system or any energy energy system if you're going to be able to sustain yourself infinitely. Why make abilities that cost anything if it is something that you do not have to manage or even look at? Even with some of the best end game gear, there should be fights that make you consider your mana when casting, especially for classes that depend on the system. You aren't going to give a healer an instant cast and be like, oh, okay, spam this ability because you will never run out of mana. It makes absolutely no sense to me on why this is even a topic. I don't think you need to stop and rest in the middle of a long boss fight, but the game should have the tools to help you manage this, like utilizing mana potions, or perhaps potions that increase your mana regen. Archetypes should have abilities as well that can help you boost the party with health and mana, especially with the bard, which is supposed to be that support class that supports all aspects of the party. We even had this in Alpha 1 with the Gift of the Magi, which was a mage ability that restored mana up front, plus an additional amount over time to you and a friendly target. The game needs abilities and systems like these in place to give players the options to gain mana when they're low, but also cause them to fail or hit bottom of the DPS charts if they aren't paying attention to it and managing it. Or else again, what is the point of having any sort of energy system at all in the game? Why do you need to spend mana on a spell if you're never going to run out of mana and never have to worry about it? As for the second question, I don't agree with having abilities that can be cast back to back without a cooldown, and I don't think all abilities should have a cooldown rotation. It's not a one side or another type thing here. For the mage, there should be a mix and there should be a class rotation that players can pick from mixing these spells together with those core low damage dealing spells being the ones you focus on in your primary rotation and the more powerful ones that deal more damage and are more situation based should probably have a longer cooldown. It's kind of a trade off here for power and time. There should also be a global cooldown in place here that way players can't take advantage of how fast they can spam an instant cast spell that ties into most abilities. Again, I get why Intrepid is asking for feedback, I get the whole point of these threads, and I appreciate that they do it, but core mechanics to combat with classes such as cooldowns and mana management are something that in my opinion should already be determined this far into development on any class. I could be wrong on this, I am no game developer, but this just doesn't seem right to me, it doesn't seem like it's the right process, and I don't know why these are things that they're still trying to figure out. This just seems to be adding a a whole bunch of extra work for the developers to develop these abilities and get fairly far along on the class and not know if there are even going to be cooldowns involved or how they're going to consume lots of mana or not, and maybe Intrepid should be asking these questions earlier on in development. That way they don't have to go back and change the direction of the class after they've already developed it this far. The numbers when it comes to mana consumption and all that don't need to be exact in Alpha 2. I don't think that's really a big issue at this point. This is something that balancing will do down the road, but I just, again, don't understand why this topic is just being something we're talking about now. It's kind of like when they stated that they were unsure if active blocking would use stamina or not. These are the things I feel like you should have a fairly good idea on in your head how they're going to play out, as you should have a general idea on how each class is going to work in this game at this point. They might not be fully put together yet, but you should know what you want out of them. The other question that this mage showcase brought up to me though that I've been thinking about is once again combat. And I just made a video on this so I wasn't going to do it again, but we saw a hefty amount of mage spells and all of them were tab target. There was no action component of placing markers on the ground to cast things like blizzard or aiming spells with the wand. There was nothing in here that shouted hybrid system to me either. The closest thing to action combat we saw was the manual casting of the wand, but even that was just another tab tracking ability that had no 
real impact on how it hit the player. So if Intrepid is still planning on doing hybrid combat, why did we just see an entire display of mage combat with no hybrid skills? I personally am okay in either direction. I like tab targeting and I like action combat if done right, but I would like them to decide on one or another and stop calling this hybrid combat if they are not going to actually show us hybrid combat. As we're getting closer and closer to Alpha 2, combat is one of those things that should start to feel flushed out, and if there's a whole hybrid side or a whole action side to it that they're not showing us, then maybe they should start incorporating that more into these streams so we have a better understanding of what combat actually is, and if we're gonna stick with mostly tab targeting, then just call it tab targeting combat. Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, well then I assume you're enjoying this content, so please do me a huge favor, click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and also comment down below your thoughts on the mage's development that was just discussed. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to do so using my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.